car that I got was a Fiat 500C, so it's a convertible. The keys that I have are just like this. I was so happy when I got this thing because with my old car, I just had this. And it was horrible because all I could do is just do do. Now when it's cold, I can just go ahead and unlock it. So, just like that. And we'll go on inside. This is what it looks like. The wheel is very beautiful. And the seats, of course, they are red with tan. And it's leather right here. And then it's like, I don't know what material this is. And then the back is right there. I'm just gonna show you what's in my car real quick. I do have tissues, um, some sunglasses and then deodorant because I forget to put it on <laughs> a lot in the morning. And then I have hairspray in case I actually did my hair and then it's needing a little touch up. And then some perfume. And it's the Pure Seduction from Victoria's Secret. It is amazing. It smells kind of like fruit snacks to me. And then I also have a lint roller and Justin Bieber lotion. Right over here, I have some hair ties and some hand sanitizer, which I've already used like everything that I put in my car, so I'm so happy I did. Then I got my beautiful um, cross necklace. It is not a rosary, don't worry. It's just a cross necklace, but I never wear it. But it's beautiful, so I wanted to put it in here. Plus, I have a small car now, so I kind of want Jesus with me. Then right here, I just have a cheetah print air freshener. So on this side, I have a car scraper, you know, I wish it was red or pink. I love those colors. And then I have a umbrella, you know, plain black, whatever. And then a flashlight <laughs> in case I break down in the dark and need one. I do have this little guy right here. This is a phone mount for the car. I had it right there, but it fell off while I was driving. I put it on my old car, took it off, put it there, and it does not stick, so I might have to like wash it. And here, I just have the like manual book, some wet wipes, moist wipes, ew. <laughs> I do have some of these because I'm always dropping things, spilling things. It also has an aux cord thing, which I realized I didn't even need it because I had such an old car that I needed an aux. But now I can just use my pink charger. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn that baby on. Getting you home is crazy. Whoa. So it's pretty much normal. It has, you know, the speed, time, and then when I'm driving, it has the miles per hour. How much gas you have is right there. And then it shows you the degrees outside. And actually what's cool about this car is that you can set a certain speed limit. Mine is set at 70, and so it starts beeping at you. And then on here, we just have main, which that's how you like call. I think it's that one actually. <laughs> and I don't, I don't know what that is. <laughs> that's mute. Then we just have the park reverse neutral drive. Funny thing, when I first drove this car to test it out, I put it on manual. <laughs> and I was like, why is it driving so weird? It's It was on manual. It's all good. But I can try it. You know, that'd be cool. Then we just have the... Classics right there. Mm, yeah Then um, you know this side <laughs> Then we have the air hot cold. It is actually hot outside now So I do need it on the cold and then this is just for the AC oh. <laughs> And then you can go to you know three four whoa That's just you know the normal outside inside where the air is coming from we do have a sport mode on this car the hazards Sometimes you need that. And then a defroster, which apparently it does all the windows, so these babies will all be um, heated up. Then we just got the media, so it goes to aux, then FM, AM, and then there's actually three different ones, so it's A, B, C. I pretty much just have A, and there's 93, it's not that one. There it is, 93.3, 957, 99.7, 103.3, and 104.3. Not sure what that one is, but I just kind of picked one because I didn't know what to do. Then we just got the volume. What's cool about this is that there's a volume right here where I can turn it. Here, I'll show you. Where I can turn it up or down. And I thought that was really cool. And then also in the middle is the source. 
so you can change it like that. So it's way easier and safer in a car. On this side, it does the station, so you can change that, but I never use that thing anyways. Then we got, you know, the CD. Right down here, I just have two pens, chapstick, I don't think anything else, and then a snack because when I work, I get really hungry, so I just munch on that. And then we have actually three cup holders technically, because you can put it in here and it's just a bigger one if you have bigger cups. Then we just have the parking brake. And then, oh, we have a Gatorade right. Oh my god. I went to work yesterday, thought I forgot it, and it's right in this one. And then another cup holder, and back here it's just a back seat. And these speakers are actually Bose, which I thought that was really cool because I have those speakers right here. I have purse holders just for extra room. I almost forgot to show you it also has a convertible part. Duh. I told you that earlier. So you just do it once. I think it goes all the way. Then it stops at a certain point. Then you can pull it even more down. You just press that boy. Then it goes all the way. And then it's beautiful. You can see the sun setting beautiful oh my god and then just to lift it back up you just go like that and I think you have to do it three times which kind of sucks but then it goes almost there and then you have to hold it all the way down to get it to shut all the way and you're all good and that is the Fiat car tour Dang, this, this sunlight is crazy Alright, say goodbye to baby. Batch, ready? Oh. Uh, there it goes. It, okay, it went burp. <laughs> it's great. And it also like blinks. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed.